Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2023 Winnebago Navion. This is the 24J floor plan. In the exterior we have the Tuscan exterior paint which is a full body paint and it's actually one of my favorites. Um, we're going to walk up, we'll start out front here. This is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis so you get 188 horsepower. 325 foot-pounds of torque and it does have a seven-speed automatic transmission um, as we work our way back here starting at the front you see we have a nice front cap up there with the bunk which we'll show inside uh, it does have a window that you can actually open and get a little bit of fresh air we've got our awning out with our LED lights This was ordered with the dual pane windows, which you can see from outside, and then I will show again on the interior. As far as outdoor storage, this, this coach is 25 foot, five inches in length. Uh, we do have plenty of storage for a small coach. If you look under this front compartment, you'll see that there is pass-through storage on the top there. That's so you can put your fishing poles, your longer items, you can still squeeze them in up top. Before I open this compartment, we've got a quick connect right here for your propane line in case you want to carry a grill and set up your cooking station out under the awning. I got to say it's a beautiful day here in Frederick, a little overcast. We might get some more rain, which we desperately need. We're having our parade today downtown for the Avs. Go Avs, Stanley Cup champs. Quiet Diesel 3200. It's nice when you get the diesel generator, it pulls straight from your fuel tank. Right here we're going to have our storage, it's right under the bed. It's pretty good size, you can actually access it from inside as well. The Navion has 24 gallons of fuel. So plenty, as long as you fill up before you get to your campsite, you can run your generator plenty of time. You can run it long enough to keep all your, your party going, keep your kids happy. Okay, we're going to work our way back. As you can see on the rear here, we've got our access ladder to get up on the roof. Clean off those solar panels from time to time. We've got our trailer hitch back here seven pin connector this hitch does have a 500 pound tongue weighting uh, tongue rating or 5,000 pound towing we also have a backup camera up top right here is gonna be our main water bay with your water pump, your outdoor shower, your gray tank drain and black tank drain here. Here is your shore cord for easy storage. This actually pops down so you can run your cord through there. It'll fit right through this opening, then you can close it back up. Just gotta move some hoses around. Here is where you would hook up your sewer hose. Right here, right behind the driver's side wheel is gonna be your black waste tank flush. This is where you hook up your water hose to flush out that black tank. This has 37 gallons of fresh water, 41 gallons of black, and also gray. This is a really nice storage compartment here. It's pretty tall as you can see up. Gives you additional storage for those kind of odd shaped uh, items you have that may not fit under one of the bays. All right, under here we're going to have another storage compartment that go, has the pass through as I showed on the other side. We've got a 12 gallon propane tank.
So come around the driver's side door here. We're gonna have our fuel fill. Again, this is a turbo diesel. We're gonna have our small running board. You can clip your leashes there, tie down your bikes, whatever you wanna do. Nice thing about these sprinters is these are gonna have power seats, heated seats as well, power mirrors and door locks. You have three memory settings. This actually controls the seat and this moves your backrest right here. On the memory settings, I always recommend because these seats do swivel around that you set one of your memory settings so that when you push the button it adjusts so you can swivel it without having to fight it and figure out do I have it far enough forward so it doesn't hit, all of those fun things. Right here is your hood, hood release. It's kind of tucked in right here. Pop that so we can show this. This turbo diesel. I recently had to uh, give a buddy a jump start. Uh, he's got a Revel left the lights on or something happened he had a little draw so I had to access this this is where you put your positive cable back over here is where you're going to put your ground really easy to get to it was simple to do a lot of room in here to work here's your uh, washer fluid looks like they forgot to uh, set up the blinker fluid in this one I might have to make a phone call later <laughs> Right, you're going to have your coolant reservoir here, your def fluid here. Of course, don't forget to change out your filter for your flux capacitor at least once a year. This unit is available. Uh, this is stock number 5N220902. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go inside. Right here on the front door, you can see you have a nice grab bar, nice little waste basket, or if you want to put books or something else in there. Same here. You're gonna have your nightshade. And your screen is here for your door. Really easy to access. It gets out of your way. You're not having to open two doors. I kind of like that feature. Right down here, as we look on the left side here, we're gonna have our main battery disconnect right here, our steps on and off, which I just shut them off, awning in and out, and then your awning lights. And then right back here, you can see there is your disconnect. Your two house batteries are gonna be under here. Right here, you're gonna see we have our uh, leveling system. So you just turn it on, push auto level, and you're ready to go. Got light switches here. And then there's a fire extinguisher right down there by the passenger seat. Hopefully you'll never have to use that. If you're not a very good cook, you might have to use it more than you want to. <laughs> uh, as I mentioned outside, this has the overhead bunk. Plenty of room up there. We've got a couple of standard outlets. We have a 12 volt and a couple USB ports up there so you can plug in your phone. These are gonna be your blackout shades for the front windows and windshield. Also has your snap button shades for the side windows so that when it's time to go to bed, you've got a nice privacy curtain right here. I'll just kind of move the ladder out of the way for right now. This has the booth dinette, which I really like for a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's, it's large. It's, it's really big. You can turn this around. If you've got kiddos that are coming with you, they're sleeping in the overhead bunk. This actually turns into a bed. This tabletop drops right down in here. You fill, use these cushions to fill in the, the table. Nice size, it's not a little tiny booth dinette that turns into a table like some other coaches have. The other nice thing is you have a ton of storage under here. You got all these compartments. Oh, here, let me 
open this one so you have a little better view. All the seats lift up and you have a ton of storage for linens, blankets, pots, pans, any big item that doesn't fit anywhere. Also this tabletop you can just kind of spin around if you want a little bit more room. Really nice. And then you have these leg rests. So if you want to sit there, extend your feet while you're watching TV, it's a really nice spot to just kind of kick back. If you're watching that Avs celebration, I'm going to keep pointing that out, I'm a big Avs fan. Behind their TV, you're going to have your paper towel holder, your Sony Blu-ray player, plenty of room up here if you want to put a, a DVD player or anything else. You're going to have some USB ports, 12 volt, and there's a roof access port up there. I'm sure if you can see that right up top in case you want to add a Wii Boost or something, a cradle point or something like that. As you can see, we have a nice sound bar. We have dual sinks. And then the other feature I like about this Navion is you've got induction cooktop and you also have a gas stove burner right here. So you like to cook on a flame, that's the spot right there. Nice storage here. You're going to have your inverter control here, your generator control, and then your holding tank heater pads. All right, on this side, we're going to have our fridge and freezer. Really good size fridge and freezer. Uh, again, this is a 25 footer. Plenty of room in here to put plenty of groceries, drinks, meat, all of that fun stuff. Up here, you're going to have your slide room control and your main levels up here. So you can check. Right now we have half a tank of propane. All of our holding tanks are empty and our batteries are up to 12.9 and 12.4. Here's our solar charge controller. I do want to point out on this fridge that it has a nighttime mode. So you can click that mode and it'll conserve energy while you're sleeping. And I'm going to come back in here to show you all the drawer space that you get in the kitchen here in the galley. This is actually the shade for the other window over the bunk there. Ton of storage under the sink. Nice little basket here for your clean supplies. You can put a waste basket under there. This is going to have a convection oven, convection microwave. You can bake your cake, warm up your pizza. Here you got plenty of room for uh, your clothes if you want to hang up your nice items so they don't get wrinkled up. Of course, if you're camping, you might not care if you're wrinkled. I sure don't when I'm out camping. Nice size pantry. And then down here you have one more drawer. And I didn't point out, but over the booth dinette, you've got three really nice size storage cabinets as well. All right, medicine cabinet, you've got your sink out here. I kind of like having the sink separate from the shower and the toilet. That way you want to wash your hands, you have a separate area to do that. Again, enough space down there for some cleaning supplies, even another small waste basket. And the shower here. One of the features I like about this 24J floor plan is you don't have to have a slide out for the bed. You can access everything when the, the slides are in. I'm going to point out something on this shower door. So you have to push in and hold. Make sure you follow the directions when you latch it. If you're not careful and you just push it in, it'll slam backwards and scare you. So you push in while you're holding it, slides back nice and easy. All right, good. We've got our corner bed. We have a nice TV. 
throw some pillows up there and just kind of hang out and watch your your hockey game. Kind of storage overhead here. You also have two reading lights right under here. And you've got one basket on each side right here for your cell phone, your wallet, your keys. Uh, there's a couple outlets down here you can plug in your cell phone. Right under there you got USB ports. And then on your window, again, these are dual pane windows. You've got your night shades. If you want to open up and get some, uh, some fresh air, you can do that as well. Or you can put this down, keep the bugs out. So this is on the 22 uh, chassis from Mercedes. So I will point out a couple of features. I'm sure you've seen them, but just in case you haven't, a couple things to point out. Because the seats do swivel around the emergency brake, if you just push down, it'll stay engaged. That allows you to swivel the seats while keeping the brake on. Really good feature. You're going to have your touchscreen stereo. I'm going to fire it up real quick. I want to check something. The awning should be retracting. So we'll point that out. If your awning is out and you fire up your Navion, it'll automatically retract so that you can uh, keep yourself safe and not tear up your awning. Um, I always like turning on the, the vans when I get in them to see, or any coach, to see what music is playing, who was driving it last. We got some nice classical music happening today. So here on the touchscreen, you're going to have your navigation, your phone, Bluetooth, radio. Uh, media information on your coach or on your van. You're going to go to your smartphone. This does have Apple CarPlay and Android Audio. You can go into your settings. Now anything you can touch here you can actually do from the steering wheel. On the right side of the steering wheel this serves as a mouse as you can see for the front for the dash. So we can do all that, push home, it'll take us back to our home screen. There's a back arrow, and then this is going to have your phone controls here, your volume, your call buttons. On the left side here, this mouse is going to work your digital dash here, your speedometer. You can change all your settings here, check your trip. Make sure you've had it serviced. And again, you can access everything else that's on that side. Super simple. This is your cruise control right here on and on. And this is your adaptive cruise where you can actually set how far back you want to be from the person in front of you. It'll slow you down if, if they slow down. That's a really nice feature to have. If you've got a, a group of Navion enthusiasts, you've got five of you all going to the same location and you want to follow each other, you can all set that. If one slows down, you all slow down. Or if the front guy slows down, I should say. Push button start. Up here you're going to have your reading lights on both sides. Your emergency call there, your SOS button. And then your main light. Plenty of cup holders. I don't want to forget the cup holders here. We got like 12 of these things. You got two here, two there. You have two up top, two on this side. And then there's also cup holders on the side for the doors. Here in this front compartment, you can plug in your phone to charge. This is actually a charging pad as well. Uh, if you want to set up to your stereo, you can plug in right there as well. And then you're going to have a spot where you can plug in. These are USB type C's. So remember, make sure you have the right adapters to plug in your phones. And that pretty much does it. Again, thank you guys for uh, watching today. If you have questions on this or any other RV on our lot here, or if you want to do a FaceTime and I do a walk around with something, a different unit or this one with you and answer questions, I can do that. You can text, call, or email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Happy 4th of July. <laughs>